Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So this video is in continuation to Databricks interview play series and this video is part two in that. So let's go ahead and check out what questions we have for today. So this is a very commonly asked question. I really don't know why, but the difference between repartitioning and collates is really very common in interviews. So when you talk about repartitioning and collates, uh, I have already made a video on that. You can check it out. But yeah, for this, I'll actually give you some data points. When we talk about repartitioning, uh, let's say uh, you already know that Spark is a uh, you know uh, partition based. Spark is completely partition based, right? And when you talk about repartition, you can both increase and decrease the number of partitions through repartitioning. When you talk about collets, you can only decrease the number of partitions through collets. You cannot increase it. And how does it happen? So when you talk about repartitioning, let's say you have five partitions and you want to repartition it to three, right? So what happens is uh, all your partitions will involve complete shuffle because all the uh, three partition will be recreated. There will be nothing, you know, it, it will not be like the, what I'll explain you for collets, but the repartitioning, it involves, you know, complete shuffle because the three partitions that it will create, it will create from scratch. But when you talk about collets, if the same thing you were to do in collets, from five, you want to make it to three partitions, what it will do is it will take the data from the two partitions and it will add to the remaining three partitions. So if you see in collets only, uh, you know, the data is being taken only from the two partitions, right? So the shuffle is very less. But when you talk about repartitioning, uh, it is actually, uh, you know, recreating all the three partitions. So uh, when you talk about shuffle, shuffle is more in repartitioning than in collets. So this is the second difference that you have uh, between repartitioning and collets. In fact, if you talk if you talk only in terms of shuffle, then in that case, repartitioning is less performant. But uh, I'll in fact discuss uh, more about it. Now let me go back to the data breaks and in fact show you this. Right. If you want to uh, create repartition, this is the syntax like on a data frame, you can simply write dot repartition and you can provide the number of partitions that you want to create on that particular, the, you know, data frame. So let's say I wanted to create two partitions so it I can in, in the brackets, I can simply write two right for that particular data frame. And similarly, when you talk about collets, you just have to write one. Right. So this is the, this is just the syntactical difference. And if you want to see more in detail regarding the partitions, I have already made the made a video on difference between repartitioning and collets in Databricks. You can go ahead and watch it in my play series for Databricks. Now I'll move to the second question, which is actually again with regards to collets, which is what is the drawback of collets? So this is the, uh, you know, if you answer the first question correct to the interviewer, he will definitely ask you this question that if, uh, you know, you have less shuffle in coll uh, in collets, then why why do we even use repartition, right? Whenever we are trying to decrease the partitions, then you can you can always blindly go for collets, but that's not the case because if you see collets will involve a lot of data skewness. Why? Because when collets is taking the data, like, let's say I want to reduce the partitions from five to three right it is not it is randomly taking the data from two partitions and adding it to the remaining three partition it does not see whether there is any data skewness or not so there are there is high chances of having data skewness when you are working with collets and also sometimes what happens is this is the one uh, answer and the second answer is let's say you do collets to one right uh, then in that case, you had five partitions and suddenly you are doing collets to one that one, then essentially what you are doing is all the computation you are, uh, you know, giving it to only one node, which is not good practice in general when you talk about Spark, because when you are decreasing the partition, you are increasing the data skewness and you are giving all the work to a single node, right? That is also a major drawback of collets that you need to be really, really uh, aware of while giving the interview, right? Because this is the second question that comes up the moment you answer the first question. This, this question will definitely come up for sure. And now from this question itself, another question pops up, which is, let's say we have zipped files, right? Then how they are distributed in Spark. Let's say you have a zipped file, right? 
and uh, then you try to do repartition you try to do collage what exactly happens how are they distributed you are trying to read this uh, zipped file how are they distributed because spark is basically a parallel distribution right it should be multi threaded so is those are those zipped files also multi threaded then the answer will be no so whenever you are working with a zipped file and when you are trying to read the zipped file you need to know that it will be single threaded right because based on that only you will design your workload so you need to be very well aware that the zipped file these will be considered as a single thread they will all the computation will go to one thread only then uh, there is another question that is you know very commonly asked that what is the difference between you know let's say you are trying to import something like let's say pyspark.sql.types import star or you can also write import what a uh, module you actually need right you can write that particular module as well so what is the difference between two so you might think that you know instead of uh, importing just one module i can import all the modules right what's what's the difference there is a difference because when you go to production and you have these kind of commands from pyspark.sql.types or any a uh, library you import everything then what happens is it tries to read everything and it is a huge load on performance so you need to know that as well and this question can be twisted as well let's say if they ask you what are the performance optimizations you have done so this question is also asked right i'll cover it in my upcoming videos but yeah in that also you can cover this point really well because this import star and importing the exact module that you need really makes a lot of difference when it when you talk about performance because space is required and the computation is also needed to you know take all the uh, all the modules from your library so it really affects the performance and similarly i'm done for today so there are these were the pretty much questions that i had uh, for you in this particular video so in the next video i'll have lot of more questions so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like subscribe and share